that's what I fight for. I fight to keep the Gracie family alive inside the cage. Without jiu-jitsu, I wouldn't be nothing. It's something gentle that you can make become brutal. You can get caught and something can happen. That's the fun part of it. The little fear that you have, it's the best. So I feel that I am an artist, especially when I'm out there performing, and I'm never satisfied with the performance. I'm always trying to make it better and better and better. That's why I train so hard, is to try to make a perfect fight. I know that's hard, but I'm gonna get there. Maybe December 15th will be the perfect night, perfect fight. Family for me is the number one thing in my life. I have something to fight for, the future of my little girl. And uh, if before I was already giving my best in fighting, now I'm giving 150%, 200%, you know? I have my family, I have my wife, I have my kid, and I also represent my last name. My grandfather, his name is uh, Hobson Gracie. He was one of the smallest guys in the Gracie family, but he was one of the, had the most fights. Heart is really, really important in the fighting world. You either born with it or you don't have it. It's not something you can teach in the gym. When I used to go to school and people knew that I was a Gracie, everybody was trying to pick fights with me. It's something that built my character and uh, it was pretty cool. My last name, it's something that I want to be remembered for in the fighting world. Potential is uh, a boundary that you can see in your mind. And I believe that my boundaries are just endless. I see belts, 170 belt, 185 belt, you know, any belt that they want to give me an opportunity to get, I'm going for it. I'm a three-timer and I don't really see too many other three-timers, so I just kind of feel like a unicorn walking around sometimes <laughs> in the wrestling world. I hate it because I always want to do better than what I did before. You know, everybody sees three national champions. I'm like, I did that shit in the past. That guy's gone and dead. You know, I'm never going to sit there stagnant. It's just I've never been a stagnant person. People want to call me a prospect. They're going to call me a prospect, but eventually they're going to see like, oh, no, he's not a prospect. He's not even a contender. They're going to see he's the champion. I'm literally coming for everybody. You know, I'm, I'm coming for the Limas. I'm coming for Rory McDonald. I'm coming for Paul Daly. I'm coming for MVP. You know, it's. It's just like, if you're in this sport, you're here to fight, you're here to fight. And whoever they put in front of you, you better be ready to fight them. Hawaii cannot come soon enough, man. Uh, I can't take this cold anymore. I'm a Brazilian. Hansel's Academy, for me, is one of the best gyms in the, in the world because we have everything under one roof. And uh, I feel that I'm in the right place to, to be a champion, you know? This tournament is going to be one of the toughest welterweight tournaments in the world. All the guys are killers, you know? My next fight against Ed Rule, he's one of the best wrestlers in, in America right now. And uh, whoever wins this fight is going to fight for the title. After I win this fight, I'll be fighting either Rory McDonald or John Fitch. And uh, it's going to be a dream come true, uh, having that bell around my waist and putting right here in my house, that's what I was born for, to be the champ. Usually when I'm about to get a shirt out of my closet, I have to, you know, I gotta make sure that I do it the right way. So it's right here. We get a shirt. You can't miss the exit. Move. Yeah. <laughs> I just love it. I love watching the way that a boxer moves, testing the other person's philosophy. You know, you gotta be the better man that day. 
I love Sugar Ray. Just looking at the man's record alone, you fought a lot of people. You fought all the time. It wasn't that you were just a champion. You had to defend your belt when you had the belt. I'm a college wrestler, you know? I had 136 matches. That's not even counting the how many times I've actually wrestled in the wrestling room. Not even counting how many times I wrestled in high school. There's hundreds and hundreds of matches I can think back on, you know? And, and that's why when I look at a boxer, I look at Sugar Ray Robinson. These guys have hundreds of matches, you know? That's hundreds, hundreds of, uh, of hours of experience of being in the ring. That's like power, you know? That experience is your power. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show people on December 15th. I just know that Gracie that I see in that cage that day will be inferior. I'm knocking them out. You know, I want them to see something that's uh, controlled, something that's uh, impending. <laughs> it's on its way, and it's not going nowhere for a while. I will be the last man standing.